Welcome to the Simmons FEA Phase 2 poster presentation. This project builds upon the work completed by the UNCC Senior Design Team during Phase 1. The project arose from the need to validate stresses on the copper windings of a rotor on a utility scale generator. The goal of this project is to collect strain data from the copper windings and compare them data with uh, existing FEA model data developed by Simmons. The left side of the poster discusses the goal and the design considerations of the project. The figures in the center show the CAD models of the mounting board along with strain gauges applied to rotor surfaces. The right side of our board details the tests conducted and the important lessons that were learned by the senior design team during, the fa during phase two of the project. The senior design team consists of Jay, Joseph, Matthew, and Theodore. The faculty and industry supporters are Professor John McAlpine, Mr. Larry Zeller, and Mr. Heinek Latang. The aim of this project was to design and implement a system to collect strain data from the copper windings of a rotor. The design requirements of the instrumentation system are that the system must remain secure at speeds exceeding 4,000 RPM, withstand temperatures up to 130 degrees Celsius, and shield it from electrical tests conducted on the rotor. Additionally, the design shall be capable of storing data if it is not able to transmit due to signal interferences or signal losses during live collection. The design system that was implemented by the senior design team consisted of a mounting board, strain gauges, and a terminal such as a laptop to log data as it was transmitted. The mounting board is a 3D printed board from Ultem 9085 and consists of two batteries and a lowered microstrain chip. 3M VHB double-sided tape was used to hold the mounting board along with clamps on the side. The strain gauges were held by an epoxy known as EP34B, and Kapton tape was used for holding down wires along the rotor. All mounting boards were 3D printed to allow for quick turnaround time if dimensional alterations needed to be made between rotors. Data was collected over two days during the first test. The graphs on the right highlight the strain and temperature data as the rotor was tested and balanced over the course of multiple days by Simmons. During the second test, the strain gauges were applied to a steel surface instead of copper surface on the rotor. However, the epoxy adhesive did not cure uniformly and this resulted in a scrub of the test and the strain gauges were removed. In conclusion, the senior design team learned important lessons from both of the rotor tests that were conducted. The most important lesson was that surface prep is a pivotal process as it impacts both installation and data consistency. Additional points are highlighted on the slide. Thank you for viewing our presentation.